I'd say today's a good day for you to be here watching this video. The setup that we have for you guys today is, well, I thought that we were almost out of cars here in the Willamette River until Jason here. Well, I was trying out some gear, testing my gear out and found one and then another and then another. And by another, 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 he's talking about, we have a, a van, you said, a Chrysler, as well as a uh, possible four by, is a four by four off-road? Yes. So we're gonna go uh, put you guys on those today, let you see what they look like, and we're gonna pull one of them today. Stay tuned, cause we're getting in the water right now. All right, check, check. I got Adia. Let's go follow Jason and see if we can find our targets today. Alright, so we've already lost Jason. Oh, there's his bubbles. Oh, we can track somebody so we can find their bubbles. Oh, we got something here. Oh, that's just a big log. Oh, look at that! We found a car. What is this one? Is this the van? Nice one. Upside down. Okay, so what do we have here? Chrysler, right there. It's beautiful. Oh, and the door is open. Oh, let's look inside. Can we look inside? Steering wheel. Hey, what's up, mate? I lost my marker. One question that comes up often is, are you guys getting paid for this? No, we're completely volunteers, so there are no taxpayers' dollars helping us for what is we're out here doing. Another thing we get asked is, why aren't the police or another agency doing anything about it? Jason, what is the uh, one and only reason they said to actually give them a call? Dead bodies. Did you find a dead body? I said, nope, I didn't. Let's check this one and then go that direction. We found the van. Here it is. 2013 for the plates. Oh my goodness, does the back of it open? Alright, it's a Chevy van. Back seat. Nobody in the middle seat. Oh, it's got some silk in there. That's not too much. I think we can still load it. All right, let's do it. We're gonna do the. Oh, how much silk is here? Okay, we're doing a van today. 100. percent Let's do it. This is actually I haven't told you. I mean, it's a 11 fill passenger van Tatum. Oh, it's the largest pool that we're ever going to have that we've done to date. Well, the expedition. No, this van is bigger. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. It's not bigger than the boat. Not, oh, well, yeah. I mean, as far as vehicles <laughs> goes, it is, it's the largest vehicle that we've ever lifted is what we have here. I can't record all of my underwater today, Nate. Do you know why? Why? Tatum left my batteries in the boat from yesterday with Sky. So I'm monitoring battery usage today. I'm going to grab whatever footage I can for you guys. Let me take two chains and a rope. What we're going to do is, I'm going to, you're going to take this one? I'm going to take this one with a tank attached to it. We're going to drop down the line. Both chains are hooked to the uh, rear uh, tow, tow bar. Hook this bag to the one carabiner. I'm going to hook my bag to the other carabiner. I'm then going to inflate both bags fully. We're going to stand it up on its nose. Then we'll come back. Uh, we'll watch it actually go up, verify everything's good. And then uh, for safety measure, we'll, uh, I'm going to switch tanks before we come back in with the other two lift bags. In three, two, one. All right, I'll see you down there. My biggest concern today is the uh, current in here. The tide is actually going out. Once we get this floating, 
We're gonna end up here. I'm gonna end in that cove. So we need a game plan once it is loading. Alright, there's Jason. That's good news. Close to what? Well, it was close to flipping. Oh yeah? What we had was, I had the uh, one bag on the front of the van and it was starting to flip it over so it's on its wheels and then something just whoop whoop and now it's upside down still. Good news is we have a tow truck that can flip it. We just need to get it from here to there which means we need to keep it in deep water in order to drag it. It's too close to the shore. So we're gonna pull it that way out, and then we'll come back around and pull it that way. Under those bags, uh -huh. those float is a there's a van. Okay. And we need to we need to pull it off the beach a little bit and up that way so that we can get it on a tow truck in a, in, a, in an hour or so. Mm -hmm. So if you could just pull nice and gentle, it should move nice and easy. In which direction? Sort of towards those red buoys, and then turn back this way. Done. So 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 what? So, Go all the way around the river? No, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's on the beach now, uh -huh. so we need to pull it off the beach okay. and then towards the boat ramp because we have a tow truck coming to get it. Okay. So, one more time, I'm going towards the buoys. Towards the buoys and then well, here, back towards us. Here, yeah, so you just jump on with her. Okay, now uh, to the left. Whoa! Did we pop off, Nate? I think it popped yeah. off the van, yeah. I don't think we can spend time here because it's my birthday and my guests are coming. Oh, okay, no worries, we can let you go. Yeah. I, I appreciate you helping. Well, the jet ski failed. I felt bad that we were actually uh, taking up her time on her birthday. We didn't know that. I didn't know that, I mean, she offered, right? I I if it was my birthday, I would do it. Anyway, we're actually making progress. What we have going on is we have Nate pushing it away from shore with his kayak. Well, I'm pulling about 200 feet of rope here in hopes that we can actually get it to the boat ramp over here. What are you doing, Jared? Doing all the work, Tatum. That's what I'm doing. You understand? My legs are on fire. Look how far we've come, though. It's true. And that pillar over there is about 12 feet deep. Figure the van is 6 feet tall, plus the uh, length of the bags. So it's hanging about 10 feet below the surface right now. We just need to get close enough for the tow truck. We shall be here in about 20 minutes. So enough chitter chatter, Tatum, and keep this thing moving. I think that's it, I think we're high centered. Yep, that's it, right there. <coughs> Is that it? Yeah, 15 bucks says you can't make it all the way out there, Tatum. Why not? Go ahead. How far can you make it? I'm hitting the uh, I'm hitting the uh, now. Mm. What I'm gonna do real quick 
quick, Brandon. Okay. We just got it on its wheels. I'm going to do one more hook since uh, Nate's already extended out there. Okay. I'm going to hook onto the uh, bumper. Okay. Uh, the tow hitch. Okay. I'm hooking on the tow hitch. There we go. We're going to finish dragging it around and pull it as close as we can for you. You like helping out, uh, Nate? Yeah, yeah. Keeps me out of the pub. And some of you guys will be like, you know what? You guys got a tow truck. How come you're not using a bigger rig? We're guys. We just like to mess around a little bit before uh, we actually let the uh, professionals take over. This is just us having fun. Accept it. Oh, it's going. I see it moving. Go, go, go! You know, I'm kind of proud of Nate there. I think that's good! Yeah, you're good! The water's got to drain. Now here's the thing, Jason. Underwater, didn't that seem like it was lot larger? Like it, it was a 12 passenger van? It did. Yeah. I would have, I would have never guessed it was an actual. The water minivan. expands, makes it look bigger. In the meantime, we got Brandon here. Brandon, is this close enough for you today? Very. All right, sounds good. Shut <laughs> <laughs> it. We'll uh, get this one out of the way. We'll get this one out of the way and uh, let's get it loaded and you out of here. We got a milk crate in here for you, Tatum. Woo! You need. <laughs> look, think about all the milk you can get with that. You know, I used to... It, this isn't a square milk crate either, it's, it's the full on big one. Is it the metal or plastic? No, it is plastic. That used to be my furniture when I was there. So I heard you pulled out a gym bag out of this. I, I did. Didn't want to open it though. You never did? I had my buddy open it. Thought there might be a head or something in there. So, what, want. so what was in the gym bag? Uh, just a bunch of gym clothes. <laughs> That's, yeah. boring. That's boring. Exactly. Alright, we're going to go back to the cool stuff. Oh, you missed a shirt though, or a pair of jeans or something. I really like the green pinstriping and the green ribs on this. <laughs> no they, they rallied it for sure. I don't think these have glove boxes, Tatum. That right there is our, um, oh, what do you call it? The little uh, ski doo girl, that uh, lady that was helping us earlier. So anyway, I'm glad that she didn't uh, hang out for us because look what she's actually out over there enjoying. Oh, that's why it was, uh, yeah. look a little high. What are you gonna destroy today, Tatum? Well, we gotta get it off the rock that we uh, brought up. You're not getting that off the rock with the crowbar. You know what? I've, I've never done it, but I wanna try No, it. you're not. That's gonna drop on you. <laughs> no, you can't go underneath the tire. Now what's gonna happen when we put it I know. <laughs> it just slipped there. It slides. Put it on the frame right there. Oh, there you go. All right, it'll move now. All right, go get the crowbar. Come on, crowbar. Oh, yeah. yeah, some people say, Mr. Lizy, do you work out? Oh. Yes, I do. <laughs> That wraps up another episode of Adventures of the Purpose where you never know what it is we're going to find. Like a van in the river today. Really amazing. Thanks everybody for your participation. Thank you, Jason. We're going to be back in this spot also because there's two or three more cars. That's it for now. Later, later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.